From having to leave the NCIS spin-off after 14 seasons, to having not one but two super exciting projects lined up, here's why Daniela Rua is leaving NCIS. I'm sure you've all heard by now, Daniela is saying goodbye to her character after 14 years. At the start of this year, CBS gave us all some horrible, horrible news. After its highly promoted three-series NCIS mega crossover, they announced that it will be ending the spin-off show NCIS Los Angeles after 14 long seasons. Seasons. Now, several members of the cast were quite emotional when they heard the news, but Daniela Rua is probably the most affected by it. She didn't take the news well, if I'm putting it lightly, and stated that she's going to need a whole lot of time to truly process her thoughts and emotions. However, while she's not fully done processing those feelings, she's at least glad that she's got some time left on the show. At the same time, though, she doesn't seem to be too mad about all of this happening. Daniela has told ET that she isn't sad about the show wrapping up, especially because the crime drama has been able to pretty much do the things that it needed to do. I mean, the show was on for almost a decade and a half. That's longer than most shows right now. Even if the writers did come up with new storylines, they'd be stretching it. On top of everything, the show has already set her up for life. You see, Kenzie, Daniela's character, is one of the most loved characters on screen right now. Rua played her so darn well that she managed to create a lot of support for Kenzie. I mean, the woman has managed to rack up over a million million followers on Instagram. So because of this show, she's famous and she's liked. This means that she's going to have no trouble working on any future projects since she's extremely sought after. Don't forget, NCIS has been a TV staple since 2009. It has an entire generation as a fan base. You know, people for whom everything changed over 14 years with only one constant for the better part of 20 years. A show that they all loved. So she's got the love, she's got the support. And all this happened because of all the people she managed to charm. Now take a look at what she said about the whole thing. It's bittersweet, like it's time to move on creatively, but it's going to be so hard not to be with this family of people because they are incredible. Now, I'm sure that there are lots and lots of fans that would love to see Kinsey and Deeks had their spinoff, but there's been no news about anything like that happening. Here's an interesting bit of information though. There'd been speculation about her leaving the show since 2022. Oh yeah, our favorite strong, independent, caring special agent was rumored to be walking out in 2022. You see, folks, over the years, she embraced family, she embraced the team, she fell in love with Deeks, and most importantly, she found her way as a foster mother to a child she rescued from Central America. However, there was a slight issue with the entire thing. Daniela's character was having a tough time with the whole parenting thing, and without proper parenting role models, she didn't know who to look up to. So in 2022, this storyline confused the heck out of everyone, because they started thinking that this new character arc would decrease her role on the team, and she might be phased out. But hey, luckily that didn't happen. So while the show is ending, and that's sad as heck, aren't you glad you get to see Kenzie wrap her story up perfectly? Yet you're sad too, aren't you? We don't know when we're going to get to see her on the screen again. Well, that's where you're wrong. She's already got another project lined up, but there's a slight problem with that. It's going to be in Portuguese. So you better start taking all those classes you've been meaning to. Let's talk about the show for a second. It's called The Traitors. In this show, a few people will play a murder mystery game. In the American version, we've Alan Cumming as the presenter of the show, so there's going to be a bunch of faithful contestants, but hidden amongst them will be the traitors. The goal is to eliminate the faithful so that the traitors can get the prize all of themselves. And hey, they're going to want to do that, since it's going to be a freaking $126,000. At the same time, though, if the faithful folks manage to banish the traitors, they're the ones who are going to get all the cash. So you get it, right? It'll kind of be really freaking awesome. So what will Daniela be doing on the show? Well, of course, she's going to present the Portuguese version of it, so this means she's not going to be spending a lot of time away from the small screen. The TV channel that's producing the show was thrilled that someone like her was presenting on the show. In a statement, the spokesperson stated that they are extremely pleased. At the same time, they mentioned Daniela has the talent, the energy, the experience, and the resources to adapt to the different narrative records that the format requires. The channel even mentioned
mentioned that it's just as excited as the viewers about the show, which you know is being successfully produced globally. Rua herself stated that she's super happy to accept this new role and that it's going to be a whole new experience for her. But most importantly, she noted just how excited she is about working with a Portuguese audience. Because while she was born in Boston, she was born to two Portuguese immigrants. So she's thrilled to be exploring her routes in the country and working with the people there. While some of the NCIS fans are disappointed it's all over, okay, who am I kidding? It's a lot of them. The fans of the show in Portugal couldn't be happier because everyone just filled her comments section, praising the show, and sharing their excitement to see her on it. But all right, I get it. Reality TV isn't your cup of tea, so you're not going to watch the show now, are you? Well, don't worry, she's got yet another project lined up. You see, maybe it was time to say goodbye to Kenzie for Daniela, because there's another show that she's going to be doing. And while reality TV seems fun, it's not exactly what her fans are used to. But this project of hers is going to be an action thriller. It's called Turn of the Tide, and it's going to be coming to Netflix in May 2023. So no, you're not going to have to learn Portuguese for this one, since you can just catch everything from the subtitles. The series is being created by Augusto Fraga, and it's being produced by the Lisbon-based studio. The plot reads, four friends whose lives change forever with the arrival of a ton of cocaine. Right, this sounds exactly the kind of show she's cut out for. Plus, the poster for It's Awesome, too. But there's a problem. She might not be in it. You see, her exact role in the show hasn't been disclosed. And neither is she mentioned as a member of the cast anywhere else. However, she's been pictured with numerous folks from the cast and crew of the series. And she's even pictured behind the scenes of production. So this goes to show that she might just have a role working behind the camera. And that would make sense, right? Because at NCIS, she played director for six episodes. So the thought of her adding more directing roles to her resume isn't exactly surprising. Now, the important thing to ask here is, what do her fans think about the entire thing? You know, her leaving NCIS and her working on not one, but two projects simultaneously right afterward. Well, you know her fans. They'll always be appreciative of what she does. Under the comments section from her post on her leaving the NCIS, fans were shocked. One fan mentioned just how beautiful it was to see her care character's journey go from someone in their 20s to being a mama in their 40s. Another user expressed that while they were gutted to hear that the show is ending, they're super grateful to Daniela and the rest of the cast for giving them amazing 14 years. A few fans weren't as happy though. Seems like one of them really couldn't take the news and stated that this was a horrible decision, but that's not all. Fans on her other posts about her upcoming projects couldn't hide their excitement. A fan mentioned that they're super proud of her and wished her luck for everything she's going to be working on in the future. Another fan wished her a wonderful life. Seems like she managed to create quite a wholesome fan base over her 14 years at NCIS. So from having not one, but two super exciting projects lined up, to having to leave NCIS LA because it was ending after 14 seasons on TV. This was everything on why Daniela Rua is leaving NCIS.